Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. Well... Alright then, better be good. Folks come to me for crafted trinkets and such. You got the right ingredients, I can take a look. Done deal. No questions asked. Hell, you really want to get rid of this? You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Not bad, this. As long as you have the items I need. How are you? Ain't too bad. Hey, that's good. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. Evening, friend. How's it going by you? Poorly. Got my hair in the butter. Ain't nobody said life is easy. Don't you tell no one, you hear? now.
Spent the morning making a pork and onion poultice. Jesse got stuck with a rusty nail. The world ain't gonna change now, is it? Boy! Well, welcome, partner. First time? Let's have a look in here. Sold a shotgun to a hunter last week. Made near $20 in sales to the butcher this week alone. Where's my cut, huh? <laughs> I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course.
I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. Okay, well, maybe some other time. Again, if you want to buy anything, now is the time. About to close. Hey, mister. You hear Mr. Belfield's got the croup. I wish I was surprised. Mister? Come on, boy. How do you do, sir?
How do you do? Hello, sirs. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hello. Good Lord, I it can't be worth it. Shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the wall, of course. I swear, this place is going straight to hell. All right, I'll put the word out. Back so soon? Okay, safe travels. Wait. Keep your distance from me. I know you want it.
go, boy. You got one chance. You get vicious with me again, it's not gonna end well for you. How's that? Hello. Morning, friend. work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. If 
folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the, the place. You've got binoculars, don't you? <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Till I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My 
My good man! My good young man. Very well, very well. <laughs> is your father home, sonny? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. Many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. Uh, my name... My name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now, that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I've been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford III? I'm interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better. Way better than church. And twice as useful. Free spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built it. Our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey is this causing the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand tall, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine.
You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Start to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Oh. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. 
That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Morning. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. Well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. How's it going? Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. You all right? What do you want? Don't be like that. Oh, I can't complain. Right, right. Just a. Uh, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Been collecting for you. Thank you. Sure. Good morning.
morning, mister. You, uh, you okay, mister? Yep. How's it all going? Oh, my spirits couldn't be higher. Good for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, can't sit here forever. Your mama, for all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. Don't be a pathetic old man. Oh. Hey there, partner. We don't need more trouble from you here. Getting so. Oh, you're a pain. Crapping in here. A fella I know Shit. got kicked to death by a horse. You believe that? I'm taking this to the law. <laughs> yep. I need the law over here. Yep, yep. Let's get. Come on, get clear. Okay, boy. <laughs> Hold up there, citizen. Watch it. I am the sheriff here, and I am giving you a final warning. Christ.
But if you try that again, I'll show you what it means to cross a Callaway. I'll keep a careful eye on you while you're in here, so watch yourself. All right, but you better not try nothing funny. Come on, you going to just linger here? things to do than wait on you. Gonna just linger here? I got better things to do than wait on you. Thank you. This should help. <laughs> 